Hey, this is Digital by Computing. We're going through the steps on how to install Windows Server 2008 R2 onto your Mac using VMware Fusion. So we're gonna assume that you already have VMware Fusion. You may have purchased it or downloaded it um, from the VMware Fusion website and you've already got it installed and the basic configuration. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and install this OS. So we're gonna open up the app which is VMware Fusion just down here. And it's gonna give you two different options, install from disk or image or import an existing PC. Now, for this demonstration, we're gonna go through the first option. You'll either have the Windows Server 2008 um, uh, DVD CD for installer, or you'll have a image file or an ISO file. Uh, for the purpose of this demonstration, we're gonna go through the steps on how to do it from an ISO file, which I've acquired through a, a MSDN license that I have through Microsoft, um, but the steps are virtually the same through a disk or a ISO file purchased or you know get um, retrieved from somewhere else. So we're gonna go ahead and say continue. It's now gonna ask us to choose an operating system and, and actually select that ISO or the disk itself. So you can go ahead and select it from here. It'll bring up the pop-out menu or just conveniently, I've got an ISO folder on my desktop with some ISOs and there's a 2008 and I'll just dump it into there. All right, exactly the same, 2008 R2. Select the ISO and click on continue. You'll see that it's automatically brought up some information because it knows that it's a 20, uh, 2008 R2 64 bit uh, installer. Uh, you can select to do an easy install from here and put in your, uh, your name. It's gonna create the name, the password all automatically. You can also import your product key and you can select which version of 2008 you're going to be using as well, which is really handy. Uh, you can also do that later on during the customization of your Windows installer. So either way, you can do it through here or you can do it later on. So we're gonna do it later on. So we're gonna untick that and say continue. You'll see that by default, it's selected a 40 gig hard drive, two gig of RAM for this particular um, VM, which is a virtual machine. We're gonna select just for now, we're gonna select customize settings. It's gonna ask me to save this image somewhere. So you'll see that there's a few other images that I have here. Essentially, this VM is just a file that is sitting on your Mac, which you can easily back up, you can give it to somebody else and then they can open it themselves on their VMware Fusion or something similar to that. But it's just a simple file that is sitting on your Mac uh, that is going to grow until the size of 40 gig, which is what we've assigned to it. So we're gonna leave it in this location here and say save. Now by selecting customize settings, I can go into here and actually give it more RAM, more CPU. So I can give it one, two, three, four processors. I can give it some additional RAM as well. It will give you a nice indication of how much RAM I have left on the Mac. You can add an additional hard drive you can expand the additional hard drive as well. So if you 40 gig is too small, go ahead and make it 80 gig or 120 gig or 200 gig. Um, be mindful that whatever RAM, uh, whatever disk size you give it, that will potentially use that amount of disk space on your Mac. So make sure you have sufficient space to be able to run this VM. You can also do some other stuff like give it, uh, you know, have it have the VM be able to access CD, DVDs, um, give it additional network cards, access printers, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So we're just going to leave that blank for now, and we're going to go ahead and click the big play button. This is now going to go and execute that Windows Server 2008 R2 ISO file, and shortly we'll be presented with the logon screen where we can just go ahead and configure the basic installation steps for your Windows Server installer. Select the language and the time and currency if you want and click on next. You'll also find that sometimes your mouse gets trapped inside the window. It depends on the operating system, but you can see on the top right it says to release the mouse, press control, and command. So you press control or command and it actually can release your mouse sometimes if it gets stuck in this window. Okay, install.
I have various options available to me. I can select which version of Server 2008 I want. I'm gonna go ahead and do the data center full installation version. Yours may be slightly different, but again, you select the version that you have. Accept the terms and conditions if you agree to them. And we're gonna to go to customize, custom, and you'll see here that this is the disk that we're gonna be installing it from. 40 gig, as soon as we click on next, it's gonna go ahead and format that disk and start installing Windows Server 2008 R2 64 bit. So this installation will take a little bit of time. So let's just leave it here and we'll check back once we're done. So after some time, the installation will finish and you're gonna be presented with the standard logon screen to put in the password that you wanna use. So go ahead and put that in. And that is the installation. So that is now Windows Server 2008 R2 running on your Mac. The first thing that I would do that I would recommend would be to install VMware tools onto your VM itself, which you do by going to the virtual machine and into install VMware tools. I won't do it for this operation now because it does take a little bit of time, but, it, but essentially it's going to map a disk onto your computer and then it's gonna ask you to start to install VMware tools. Uh, VMware tools is gonna to install a whole bunch of drivers and other things that just make the seamless activity between your Windows and your Mac a lot better. So your, your Mac drivers um, for, your, for your mouse, your keyboard, your display, those sort of things, also drivers so that it communicates better with the virtual environment as well. So that is the steps, all right? So that is for Windows Server 2008 R2 using VMware Fusion. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to Digital Byte Computing for a whole bunch of more videos.